just always said how important we were. We had our own parliament, court, and newspapers. That man, Dr. Korczak, treated us as equally as he would an adult. Will I ever be able to meet him? Sadly, he's not alive now. What happened to him, Anna? Have I never told you the story of Dr. Korczak? No. Well, without him, I never would have been adopted. You almost never forget how important you are in this world. Do not let anyone ignore your ideas. I was so shy back then. I had lost my parents and was nervous about speaking to people about my thoughts and feelings. Through participating activities that are run by children and for children, I learned it was okay to voice my opinion. We had our newspaper, courts, and elections, all controlled by the orphans. Through Dr. Kodchak's teachings, I was finally able to express my ideas without worrying that no one would listen. Even though Dr. Kodchak had helped me come out of my shell, I still wasn't adopted. I began to think no one would ever want me, that I was unimportant. But Dr. Kodchak never gave up on me. He gave me hope that the right people would come eventually. It turns out he was right. Running into that room and seeing the couple standing there was one of the happiest moments of my life. Anna, Anna, come here. Why don't you come say hello? This is Mr. and Mrs. Olszewski. They are looking for a child who's creative and full of ideas. I've told them about you. Thank you, Dr. Korczak, for uh, introducing us to Anna. I think she'll make a wonderful addition to our family. You are more than welcome. Why don't you come over here and sign some paperwork? I am so proud of you, Anna. I really think you're going to have an amazing life with these people. Now, don't you ever forget, the ideas of children like you are more important than you can imagine. Always remember that. On August 5th, the very day that I was adopted, a Nazi soldier showed up at the orphanage to inform Dr. Korczak that the children and staff living in the orphanage were to be moved to the Treblinka extermination camp. Dr. Korczak had been offered sanctuary many times, but refused and stayed with the children. Dr. Korczak and the children were never heard from again. And even though Dr. Korczak is not with us now, his idea of children's rights still is. Thank you for the story, Nana. I'm going to go tell everyone my, my ideas and make sure they 